Today on the Craftsman Blog, we're going to be looking at glass. Whether it's laminated, tempered, insulated, or my favorite, good old-fashioned wavy glass, we'll see how each one stands up to my not-so-scientific breakage testing. Put on your safety glasses, because I guarantee this one's going to get messy. All right, we're going to talk about glass today. I've got a bunch of different types of glass in here, and uh, I've been waiting to do this for a long time to get samples from the glass company. I thank them for it, and now I'm going to destroy this glass today. But I wanted to show you what different kind of glass is like in your house, because a lot of us have antique glass, or there's annealed glass, or there is tempered glass, or laminated glass, or insulated glass. And so there's so many different types that I want to make sure you could understand the difference between each of them. So we're going to do, talk a little bit about them, and then we're going to throw a bolt through each piece of glass and see how hard it is to break and how it breaks. So help you learn a little bit there. And it'll be a lot of fun. So I'm going to start, right now I've got a piece of glass down there that is antique glass. I'm going to pull this out, bring it over here. It kind of breaks my heart to break this one, but it's all in the name of science. So this is antique glass. It is 3 16 of an inch thick very thin, it's rippled, it's wavy, it's beautiful, it's not annealed, it's just standard 100 year old glass. So um, this one is going to probably be the easiest to break and it's going to shatter a little rough. So we're going to go through each of these. So this is antique glass and how it's going to respond to some kid throwing a bolt through your window. You ready? It's not pretty. All right. The cleanup is the least fun part of this. We've got a trash can right here. So antique glass, it shatters into a million different little pieces just like this. No rhyme or reason. The stuff that will cut you very badly if you're not careful. So let's move on to annealed glass, which is the modern equivalent of antique glass. This is a little bit thicker. It's an eighth of an inch thick. It's called double strength glass. It's annealed, which means that it's heat treated. And uh, heat treated glass is the next step up. It makes it a little bit harder to break, a little bit stronger, but it's still breakable, still cuttable in your shop. If you want to cut glass to replace your window, broken glass in your house, you can do this yourself. You don't need a glass company to do it. All right, let's set this one up. All right, here's what annealed glass does. Didn't quite go all the way through. Still broke, still breaks into a million of these little pieces like this. This is just satisfying brick glass, I love it. Um, it will still cut you just like anything else. It's not safety glazing. You don't want this in the bathroom or uh, any places where it's low on the house. Uh, like uh, side lights around doors, you're not allowed to use this. You have to use the next step. And this up. All right. The next step up. This is tempered glass. This is actually a quarter inch thick, so even thicker. Um, you can get this in eighth inch. Three, you can get it in all kinds of different thicknesses. This one just happens to be. Uh, quarter inch, which is kind of one of the more popular sizes for tempered glass. Tempered is heat treated in a way that you can't cut it. It has to be cut and then it's heat treated again. So once this is heat treated like this, this is the safety kind of glass that is on a lot of automobiles. When it breaks, it's supposed to shatter into a million tiny little pieces that can't cut you. That's the advantage to it, but you can still break it. So let's try this. It's a little tighter. So this one's going to need a little bit more force to try and break it. One, because it's twice as thick as the last one, and two, because it's tempered. Look at that. A lot better. But we still want it to break, so I'm going to try a little bit harder. Can't break it. Well, I have a better solution. You can't break it that way. Always switch to the hammer. Tempered glass. I see all these tiny 
tiny little things? Let me show you in the video. These tiny little pieces it breaks into. None of this, it's all safety glass. It can't hurt you, that's the advantage of this. It's harder to break, and when it does break, it breaks into all these tiny little pieces. It kinda of looks like rock candy. I'm sure not quite as delicious though. All right, now we're gonna switch into a different style of glass. This is laminated glass. This is a quarter inch thick. If you look at it, it's two pieces of glass and uh, they're laminated with a small, very thin piece of plastic in between. You can't see the difference through it. It looks just like one solid piece of glass. The only way you can tell is on the sides. Now this isn't tempered, this is regular annealed glass, a thin piece of plastic, and then another piece of annealed glass. So it'll still break like the regular anneal, but when it breaks, that plastic holds everything together. So this also counts as safety glazing. So we're gonna try this one. Be honest, you know you're watching this just because you like the sound of breaking glass. Ready? There you go. Get that out. And that is what laminated glass gets you. It shattered. The other side, this side did not shatter. This side, we're toast. But it's protected now. Nobody's getting in. Re really works well for safety issues. Burglaries, anything like that, it's a heck of a lot harder to get through this. And then you go up to the Mac Daddy. Here. This is called impact glass. It is 5 16 thick. This is, a, I think, the minimum size you can get from most places. So it's just a 16 thicker. And you've still got the same annealed glass on one side, annealed glass on the other side, so eighth inch of glass, but you've got a really thick piece of plastic here in the middle. So to try and get through this, a two by four traveling 100 miles an hour is not gonna get through here. It'll break it still, but it's not gonna get through. So let's see how we can do. Give it a shot. All right, we'll try the bolt first. Take a look. It shattered the one side, but again, still not getting through. Maybe we should try the hammer too. When you get really thick versions of this, that's where you have bulletproof glass. That's what you want in your house when there's a hurricane. Nothing's getting through there. It's toast, but nobody's coming through here still. That's the advantage of this stuff. And then the last thing I'm gonna talk about, and I'm not gonna break it, so I'm done with these, is insulated glass, or sometimes called an IGU, insulated glass unit. It's two pieces of glass, you can see through it, looks clear there's a lot of different versions low e coatings different stuff like that but there's the airspace in between these i'm not a fan of because they only last about 10 years before they fog up and have problems but this is one you can get them with tempered glass on either side you can't get it laminated so this isn't safety glass it's just for energy efficiency and you'll see some stuff in a later post about some energy efficiency on this compared to some of these other options so hope you like that if you want to hear some more breaking glass just rewind be fine. You can do it. It's okay. Um, and uh, just hope that helps you to figure out what kind of glass you need in your house. Until next time.